Hi, and welcome to an overview discussing a bag house's air to cloth ratio. Basically, the what, when, where, why, and how of a bag house's air to cloth ratio. My name is Matt Devitt, and I'm an applications engineer for BWF, who's going to be taking you on a tour of this topic. If you like this information and you enjoy this presentation, please like and share, as well as subscribe. We're looking to put more of these out in the future, so your information and feedback that you can leave in the comments below will be very beneficial. So let's get started. Air to cloth ratio. What is air to cloth ratio? When should air to cloth ratio be used? Where does air to cloth ratio help in troubleshooting? Why should air to cloth ratio be monitored? And how is air to cloth ratio calculated? These are all going to be discussed in the next few slides. So, what is air to cloth ratio? The air to cloth ratio is the ratio of total gas flow through the bag house divided by the total filtration cloth area. Air to cloth ratio is basically just the gas ACFM divided by the square footage of total cloth that is in that bag house or dust collection system. The units for air to cloth ratio, when reduced down, go to feet per minute, or if you're working in SI, this would be meters per minute as well. And lastly, the lower the value is better, but not always needed as it depends on what the bag house is actually collecting and what the system is doing. So like golf, lower is better, but in some situations, not always needed. When should air to cloth ratio be used? Well, it should definitely be used in the bag house design itself as it will go into how big or how small you might be able to make your bag house for the situation that you have. For instance, some rules of thumb with regards to air to cloth ratio would be for large process collectors or things on combustion systems, milling systems, drying systems, those should have an air to cloth ratio of approximately three to one. For your smaller nuisance collectors, items that are going to be on bin vents, uh, transfer points, smaller systems that have a constant speed fan going to them, then they can be approximately five to one. The other place that air to cloth ratio is used is in troubleshooting, as it's a really good um, ratio and KPI to be monitored for a system. So where does air to cloth ratio help in troubleshooting? Well, the first place that it helps in is determining the actual versus the design ca capacity of the system. What this basically means is if you walk up to a dust collector and you know nothing about it but the number of bags that are in there and the actual airflow going through it, and you have the OEM manual, you can at least look to see how above or below I am from the design capacity. For instance, if the air to cloth ratio on your bag house is supposed to be three, and then when measuring the airflow and doing the, the quick calculation, you determine that your air to cloth ratio is five to one, well then you automatically know that you're trying to pull more air through that system than what it was designed for. And this is gonna lead to other issues. So, what you'll end up seeing is changes in your flow rate um, are gonna end up impacting that air to cloth ratio the most because your cloth area is constant. The other place where you're gonna use this for troubleshooting is when you have a high DP um, from just too much gas flow coming through your system. So once again, in the example, if it was designed for a three to one, but now you're running at a five to one, you're gonna notice a DP through that bag house much higher than normal and it may not be due completely to grain loading, but the additional air that you're trying to move through this system. And where you'll see this when we talk about changes to airflow volume in the system, another place you could look at this is if the um, air to cloth ratio or the volume to the system was designed for, let's say, 100 degrees Fahrenheit for inlet gas, and now it's pulling in 200 degree Fahrenheit inlet gases, the um, volume is going to be much larger and therefore your air to cloth ratio is going to go up, which may be the reason why it's outside the design. So why should air to cloth ratio be monitored? Well, basically it's really straightforward and easy diagnostic tool. If I have the airflow that's being measured at the time and I know the total cloth area, which should be constant, um, it's pretty easy to calculate at that point. It's also a good baseline to understand and have that number when the system is in quotes operating good so that you can use it as a quick um, diagnostic tool when the system is poorly operating. 
So how is air to cloth ratio calculated? Well, first we need to determine the single filters cloth area and then multiply that by the total number of filters. Measure the gas flow through the bag house. This can be done pitot tube, hot wire, um, et cetera. There's a couple ways to get the gas flow measurement. And then simply take the gas flow, ACFM, divided by the total cloth area in square feet. And that'll give you your air to cloth ratio. So to take it through an actual example calculation, if I have 200 filters with a dimension of a six inch diameter and 120 inches long, and 15,000 ACFM going through this bag house, I would initially determine the single filter cloth area, which is going to be the length divided by 12 to get it into feet, and then six inches divided by 12 again to get it into feet and multiply by pi, because I'm taking the length of the bag times the circumference of the bag. And this gives me 15.71 square feet for a single filter. I know there's 200 filters, so I take 200 filters times 15.71 square feet, giving me a total of 3,142 square feet. And then I know the actual gas flow rate is 15,000 ACFM. So I just take the 15,000 ACFM, divide by the 3,142 square feet, and I get an air to cloth ratio of 4.77 feet per minute. So that is a quick overview in how to calculate air to cloth ratio and why you would use it and the where's and the what's with that as well. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at 800 two three three seven zero four three and once again if you if you enjoyed this please like share if there's something different you want to see please leave the comment down below of some additional topics you'd like us to dig into i appreciate your time and once again if you have any questions please reach out to us